Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to find average rate of change using secant lines and use those to approximate the instantaneous rate of change, first in Desmos and then with GeoGebra. So I'm starting here on a blank Desmos page. Obviously I'm working on the desktop here, but because of the lovely on-screen keyboard, you could also use the Desmos app in uh, your phone or your tablet to do this as well, which might be a bit harder because of the screen size. So we'll start off with our function, f of x equals 0.5x cubed. I typed that in directly using my keyboard, but you could also use the on-screen keyboard if you wanted to. You don't have to name this function f of x. Uh, you can call it anything that you like. We're just going to use f right now. So I've got my function. Now I need some points. I could type in the points directly, say if we want to find the secant line, the average rate of change between 0 and 2. Um, but I actually want some sliders here so I can drag those points around. So what I'll do is I'll type in a f of a for my first point. And you'll see how Desmos is offering to add in a slider. So if I click that, now I can slide this point around like so. I can do that on the side here as well. Or I can even change the point manually, I'll change it to 0. I hit show label, shows me the value of the point right there. So I'll make another slider, b, oh, b, f of b. Excellent. So now I have two points that I can drag around or set the value up. So these will be the two endpoints for our interval. Next, we need a secant line. To do that, let's first get the slope of our secant line. Now, if all you're interested in is the average rate of change, you can stop after you do this. So we'll let m signify our slope. So m is going to be f of b minus f of a. That the forward slash for division over b minus a. You'll see that it has come up with m equals 2. So that is the average rate of change for this function on the interval 0 to 2. All you want is the average rate of change. You're done. As you drag around A and B, that's going to update instantaneously. If you want the secant line, if you actually want to graph that, you can use M to do that. So we'll let Y be our secant line. And we're going to use a point slope form to get our line. So our slope is M. And the point will be X. We'll use A for our point. So X minus A in brackets plus F of A. We now have our line. It's also in red, which is a little annoying. So just go in, change that color. Purple, we'll actually make it dashed. That's our secant line. So now, as we move these points around, see how the secant line follows these two points? And the value of the slope right here updates as we're going. So that's how you get the secant line in Desmos. Now we can actually use this to approximate the instantaneous rate of change. Say we want the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 1. So we can bring our slider very close on either side to x equals 1. We can even zoom in as much as we want there. So right now it's telling us that the instantaneous rate of change, our approximation is about 1.49. So if we drag our slider closer, that approximation is going to get better. Now we're at 1.503. And since maybe I don't want to zoom in more, I don't want to drag my slider all the time, I can just go and I can edit this. I'll make it 0 0.999, and I'll make this 1.001. .001. And that gives us an average rate of change for that secant line of 1.5 with several zeros and then a 5. So it looks like the instantaneous rate of change is closing in at 1.5 when x equals 1. So that's how you can use Desmos to graph a secant line, find the slope of the secant line, use sliders to estimate the instantaneous rate of change. Desmos does have a way to graph tangent lines using derivatives, but since that's something that you're going to cover in a future lesson, I didn't want to show you that yet.
Uh, we'll do GeoGebra next. <laughs>